Hello again, and thank you for joining Jeff and Jenny's Classic Restorations. Well, today, um, I do apologise. This is uh, a sort of a mishmash of everything. Um, I'm still waiting for a lot of parts, and I can't really move on until the parts come. So it's really just a case of preparing things, getting some of the uh, things painted, the uh, the frame and the, uh, the forks. And uh, as I say, it's no beginning, middle or end. It's just... Uh, mishmash but then eventually once we get the parts we can get on and move on so just see how I've got on today for well, the, the last few days and uh, uh, I hope you do enjoy it even though there's no structure to it thank you Well, hello again. This is just a little bit of an update midweek. I'm sort of getting a little bit done by about an hour each day because I'm working. Um, yesterday I went over with, <coughs> excuse me, with the uh, spinning wire brush, which is now on the um, angle grinder attachment. Uh, it's the first time I've actually used it with that, and I was surprised to see uh, that a lot of this rust is just very surface, just surface rust. Is um, I thought it's going to be quite deep, but everything's come up quite nicely. I went back to bare metal. On this half, two thirds, um, and I've now then I quickly went over with some uh, acid etch primer just to protect it. Um, and so today I'm going to go over and try and get this off, and then go over again with some acid etch primer, and then I'm going to get on and do the forks and uh, where else we've got the the back subframe area, um, and then hopefully we've got something we can actually start putting things back together. But to say it's all a bit of a mishmash at the moment. I'm not quite sure in which order to do everything. But I'll just show you how sort of useful this brush is. Um, it's, uh, As you can see, it does make fairly light work of the job. It gets rid of the rust and it's nice smooth metal underneath. So I won't get, I'm not going to bore you with all this. Um, I'll just get on. I'll um, put some acid etch primer back on here. Once this is done, I'll carry on with the other bits and then um, we can come back after I've sanded it, ready to do some painting with the orange paint. So um, I'll get on and do this and the other two, and we can get back painting later on. Hello again and uh, welcome back. This is actually a few days later now, um, <clears throat> so I haven't had much time to do anything, but I have concentrated on this frame to get that out of the way. Let me just show you. I have, uh, it's been uh, sanded right down and it's got uh, this Ford Phoenix orange paint, similar to the Mustang. So, but looking at the petrol tank which is the, the second hand one i bought um i was concerned I, I thought i was going to have to repaint that and also the uh, foot rests but uh, it's very close match so i think i might be able to get away without having to do that one <clears throat> so what i'm going to try and do is concentrate on this one now the uh the forks um so yeah, I'm going to try and do this, and I need to clean it, degrease it, and then grind it back down again with the spinning wire brush. And uh, this is a bit of a mishmash of a video because this, I can't really get on and do anything until these sort of parts are done. I'm still waiting for some deliveries as well with the tyres, brakes, brake cables, a new leg shield is coming from Holland, and, and also there's a, a cover that covers the, the top half there. Uh, a, plastic cover the other one was broken so I'm a little bit stuck of how to do things so please excuse this video it's going to be a bit of a mishmash because uh, I'm waiting for so many parts so I might as well get on and prepare some of these bits and these can go back straight in and then we can start building up the uh, the uh, the bike from okay. there um, I don't know if you remember in the last video uh, this had one of these bolts had sheared off wasn't able to get one anywhere uh, even new on that site in Holland but uh, so I, what I've done is actually bought a set of second hand uh, 
shocks for the front and actually are better and shinier than the original ones. What I will do though is sand these ends down and, uh, and paint these which should, uh, should improve that. So we'll get back straight on with this one. I'm just going to use my degreasing stuff. I have loosened off some rust in there with the uh, uh, with the, with a, a wire brush thing, uh, and I will go over with some. I will treat this with some uh, rust killer, and then I'll paint in there. But first of all, we we'll get on with this. Just give it a quick wash. Uh, this is just a, a degreaser, first of all. And I'll probably use the this little brush for now, just to get the worst of it all off. I'll get on with this and I'll come back. Okay, well, let's have a wash. Um, just notice we've developed a little hole here. What, what else are we, we going to find? Another one. I don't think uh, I will fill these. I don't think it's going to affect the integrity of it, of the structure, as they say. So um, once it's sanded down, we can find out how many more holes we've got. I'll, uh, I'll then um, fill those and then carry on to the next stage. Okay, so um, I've gone over and dried it all out with the heat gun. Um, so here we go, we might as well use this now and see how many holes we're left with at the end. But there we go, another hole. Okay, well, let's see how we get on. Go. that's all the uh, paint off most of it and uh, most of the rust is off as well it has developed a few little holes actually not uh, doesn't it's only in these parts so it's um, I'm actually quite confident that's structurally sound so what I'm going to do uh, you could actually use some wire mesh but uh, what I did with the the Honda stream when I built that panel up I'm going to put some um, fiberglass in there not for strength or anything it just gives me a backing then uh, in there and then I'll just put some down here as well and you can just see we can just uh, once that's hard we can then fill on on those parts there um, so I'm going to get on and do that and hopefully once that's dry we can get some filler on and so in there I've cleaned it all out but I will put some uh, rust killer in there as well so um, I'll get on and uh, do this fiberglass in and uh, see how we get on there we go um, there's the fiberglass in there that should dry fairly quickly and then we can get on and uh, fill the little holes so there's not too many but, uh, the rest of it's structurally sound so I think we're okay and then once this is all done I'll go in and treat all this in here and, and put some paint in there so uh, yeah, we'll let that dry and uh, come back shortly well finally back now the fiberglass has dried I've put a coat of filler on so I'm just going to go over with this for now the A and then uh, if there are any more little holes afterwards, I'll go back over them. So this is quickly start off doing this. You don't have to see all of it, but uh, I'll just show you the first bit. Just put the mask on. Well, okay, that's all been sanded down now, and uh, it's all quite smooth. Just a few little holes where it's uh, 
sunk in but uh, just a slight smear of uh, filler in there and that should be smooth so I'll get on and do that one and hopefully we'll be ready for paint etc um, after this one so we'll see how we get on well here we are back again I just put a little bit of uh, acetic primer on there on what I did yesterday which has uh, come up alright I've also gone over with some acetone now and so it's important now to get this all etched primed because of the uh, the bare metal so I have cleaned it all and so now we can get the rest of the acid etched primer on Well, I'm sorry, yesterday I had to move on quite quickly, but uh, I did paint the obviously the orange and I've just gone over now with the, the clear coat on these forks and uh, they, they come up very nice. So we can let that dry for a couple of days before I do anything else and we might be able to get the, uh, the that steering section back in um, sometime in this video. Well, I'm moving on because we can hopefully get this front section done. I have cleaned this uh, front mud guard up and it's come up very nice but uh, it's still not brilliant white and I've ordered some more well I've ordered a leg shield which, which is coming from Holland and also a center panel which is white as well for the um, in between the legs so I, I was a bit concerned that everything's going to look new and white and yet the mud guards won't so what I've done I've got some of this stuff rust oleum direct to plastic it did have quite good reviews what I've done I've sanded it down and it's all washed and everything and we're just going to see how we get on with this see if it gives it some life and uh, it does have good reviews well apparently it has gone on very light coats um, so we just I think we have to build them up so let's just see how we get on with this one well, seems to be okay well uh, I'll carry on with this Okay, whilst that uh, is drying, I'm going to just uh, I've just had a look at this wheel. Um, when I first bought the bike, the brakes were literally seized on. I had to take that out to uh, to get the wheel to move. But uh, basically, both pads had stuck to the uh, to the outer rim, um, which uh, which obviously that needs to be replaced. I do have the pads with me, so I can do that. Also, I decided if I'm going to do this and put this in the oven to powder coat I've got some new uh, wheel bearings as well they come as well but that'll do that at the end so I'm just going to knock the last bearing out which is there I'm just going to use a, a socket extension here that should just about do it how we do it much slowly In fact, I'll probably give it a little bit of heat just to help it along. This always helps things. Just warm up the alloy around the edges and it should, should help. Okay, so hopefully that's helped a little bit. So um, I'm going to get on now, um, start stripping all this down and uh, try and get this powder coated. So um, I say there's just so many little bits to do and it's all over the place. So um, we'll probably leave it for this week now and uh, when I come back to you, hopefully the new parts will come, I can get a new tire on if that's arrived. And 
and we can get things moving. So today was a bit all over the place, but uh, I'll carry on with this and um, I'll see you next time. Well, there we are for another week, and I do apologise, there's no actual structure to this video, it's just bits and pieces. Hopefully, um, I see they're still awaiting parts, some of the two places I'm waiting for some things to come from. Um, so, uh, hopefully they'll be here for the next video. Uh, Jenny, been out for a walk, so she's still tired, and she went to Windsor Great Park yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, so she's still recovering. So, um, thank you to all my subscribers, and please subscribe if you do like the videos. And uh, so that's it. Please take care and we'll hopefully be able to move on a bit better next time. Take care. Bye-bye.